A software predating Horizon and developed by the post office named Capture is at the heart of a second alleged IT postal scandal. And a new ITV documentary that airs tonight discusses this new potential scandal and raises awareness of up to an extra 50 wrongful convictions of sub-postmasters that used this software in the 1990s. So we're joined this morning by former sub-postmaster Joe Hamilton, who is one of the lucky ones who's received compensation after she was wrongly convicted, false accounting, alongside journalist Carl Flinders, who helped expose the story as well, working for Carl? Computer Weekly. Computer Weekly. And now, good morning to you both. Good morning. We understand it may not just be Horizon. What do you know about this other accounting software, this computer programme, this IT glitch that might be involved in something called Capture? Well, the first thing I knew about it was probably around late December when Kevin Jones, former Labour MP, now peer, alerted me to an, another scandal, potential scandal. Um, obviously, I, I was going to start writing, looking into it after Christmas, but then obviously the drama about Horizon broke and obviously I was, <laughs> I became busier than normal. But then I picked it up soon after. Mm. And basically what it is, is cap Capture, it's not comparable to Horizon in terms of technology software. It's, it's PC based, so you, you'd have a computer, you'd get a floppy disk, you'd load it in, it was basically like a spreadsheet, but... Right computerized spreadsheet, um, glorified spreadsheet, it's been described as, and uh, a few thousand people were sort of started using this. Now, this is in the early 90s, not many people even used computers then, mm. so it was something new for them. And um, there was a few thousand used it, and people, people had problems, people started having unexplained losses, but they'd never thought anything about it until they saw the drama. Then they came forward and thought, wait a minute, I never had any problems before, Suddenly I had problems. Could it be related to the software? Wow. So, what's being done about it? Well, obviously, investigating the Horizon scandal has been a long time, yes. even to get people to listen, but because of the Horizon scandal is all out there and people are aware of it, it's been pretty much fast-tracked. There's already been a government commissioned investigation into the software. Into this capture software? To see if there yeah. were But we all know software has bugs. How many people allege that they might have been either wrongly accused or wrongly convicted because of this separate capture software. Do you know? I think there were 40-odd, 50-ish people were pros pros convicted of crimes who were using capture. We don't really have information about court... We don't have court documents. We don't know whether they were prosecuted based on solely the data. There's a lot of un still a lot of unknowns that we don't know yet. And they won't have been exonerated because of what happened? Yeah, they're not automatically exonerated. Right. And the, but they're the same sort of people, the same problems. I mean, I know one Steve Marston, lovely man. It's completely ruined his life. This is, but they've, they've even waited 30 years, not like 20 years like Joe and Alan Bates. This is 30 years. Joe, so it must make your heart sink. <laughs> totally. I mean, just, you know, that? even more... Yeah. You think you know it all, and then there's even more cases even, more. even earlier. I mean, thank goodness for the drama, because otherwise none of this would have been uncovered, really, because, no. you know, it took that to make everyone realise. Um, Last time we were on, you were saying that you had received your compensation, but you were really worried that lots of um, people in the campaign still hadn't. And uh, we've had the election, I think, since then. Are things going faster now, or are you still frustrated that there's a lot of people who are still waiting? Well, there's more than 300 in our group have still not been paid, and it seems like nothing has changed. I've been to see the new minister, but the reply I got was a civil service reply, and basically nothing has changed. Wow. So, after years of fighting to get compensation, finally getting an inquiry under the last yeah. government... You have a whole new government. What did you think that would herald? What did you think that would bring in? Well, you did hope that a new administration might come in and think, right, let's get this sorted, you know, because there's a number of scandals and I think they've, they've fast-tracked the blood. Hopefully, that's... that's the infected blood scandal. The infected scandal. blood scandal. Yeah. But you'd have hoped that the new administration might want to get a grip of this and just get us off the books because mm. they've actually paid more to lawyers... Um, fighting us, and they've actually paid us, which, to me, is 
financial nonsense, you know? They say they're strapped for cash. Mm. Well, why spend it on lawyers? Why not, if our claims are reasonable, why not just pay and let people get on with their lives? Because it's life-changing to actually know there's a full stop at the end of this. Um, it's life-changing. The government minister in charge says they're, you know, as you'd expect, they're working at pace to, <laughs> to try and get it sorted. You did resolve your claim. You it took three years. took far too long. Yeah. You wrongly convicted. I mean, the whole thing has been a nightmare for you. But how does it feel now, having settled? Oh, it's a ton weight lifted off my head. I'm not in debt anymore. We've got no mortgage, you know. I mean, I'm a pensioner now, but um, and my husband's 77, so we, we don't have any debt, which, to me, is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's such a relief, and, and for everyone, I just want everyone to feel like I feel, you know, um, and, and it's wicked. I mean, even Alan, even Sir Alan, has only been offered 30% of his claim, which still now, you know, and his claim, he's a modest man. It won't be, it won't be a crazy claim. He's a modest man who's <laughs> having a fabulous uh, wedding, him and Suzanne. And, yeah. Uh, he's now a married man. A married, he's a married man. man. Richard Branson's <laughs> Ireland. Um, it is possible to have some good news sometimes. Yeah, isn't it? Wasn't that lovely to see that on the front of the paper? Yeah, yeah fabulous. Yes, yeah. They, they tied... So this is Alan, Sir Alan Bates, Mr Bates, uh, who was a versus the post office, um, and his partner, Suzanne Serkham. Now, they have been a couple, as we saw in the drama, 34 years finally tied the knot at the weekend on Necker Island, which is Sir Richard Branson's island, and he officiated he did, at the he? wedding. He did. <laughs> He's a man of many talents, Richard Branson, but I didn't know officiating at weddings was one. That, he you did. can add that to his CV. Right, well, there exactly. we are. How about that? Um, look, the, there is a new documentary. It's going out tonight, 9 o'clock. Um, it is Mr Bates versus the Post Office, The Impact. I believe you are featured in it. And computer yes, weekly because yes. you've done so mm -hmm. much important work on this, Brilliant. shining a light, and now a new scandal it seems is mm -hmm. being uncovered. So congratulations on on your work, and the National Television Awards to a drama with enormous impact is is um, is yeah. going to be given on Wednesday. on Wednesday night. Mm. So you know it's it's had a huge. I mean, there's just it's life changing life changing <laughs> impact, hasn't it? Joe, yeah. thank you for joining us as well, both you. of you. Thank you so much. Thank you.